day for Ray, graduation. Oh, yeah. Pretty exciting? Yeah. So exciting. He's super fun, and I like to pet him, and that he always um, gives me company. He's a pretty good buddy. Do you like the name Buddy Dogs? Yeah, it's cute because they are kind of like buddies. Yeah. The CNIB is celebrating International Guide Dog Day by graduating new dogs from all streams of their programs. Some of them are buddy dogs like Ray, who are not guide dogs but play a big role in kids' lives. They look for families with a child who could really use a dog in the home to get used to having a dog because one day maybe they'll have a guide dog of their own. Buddy dogs are dogs that didn't quite fit with the training to be a guide dog. They instead are placed as pets in families with young children. These dogs though are not intended to be doing anything that assists the child. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, other than teach the, the child about responsibility, dog care and welfare. Any of our dogs that go out, whether they're a guide dog, a buddy dog or an ambassador dog, they all in some way become ambassadors of our program. As evident with eight-year-old Phoebe, who had a fear of dogs before Ray came along. Phoebe wasn't a huge fan of dogs at all. Because so, like I was really scared of them. Yeah. You used to be afraid of dogs? Uh, well. I'm not afraid of Ray, but I was like afraid of like other dogs. So like, Ray, like not buddy dogs. Ray has really helped you with that then. Yeah. That's and he cool. doesn't bark as much. And that's exactly the impact that the CNIB hopes their buddy dogs will have. Fun to say he's graduated? Very fun. We're very excited and proud. Just because Ray has officially graduated doesn't mean his work with the CNIB is over. He will continue throughout his life to be an ambassador as he continues to help improve the lives of this family. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.